Hey there, Nuggets and Flakes. Rusty Miner coming at you with another knife review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Kershaw Brawler. The Brawler, we can start it out here, has uh, glass filled nylon handles, I want to say. Uh, you can take a peek on not much of a lanyard hole. In fact, if that's even what it's supposed to be. But kind of a futuristic uh, texture on there. Does have steel liners with a jimped back spacing. And if we take a peek here, don't see any jimping on the flipper tab. Does have thumb studs. Let's go ahead and open it up. It is spring assisted. It has what they know as the uh, Speed safe. Uh, this is KAI, I believe that's Kai, and that is uh, Japanese. I think this knife might have been assembled in Japan. It does have 8 CR 13 MOV steel on a tanto blade. Pretty sharp. Uh, it's, it's a utility type knife. Uh, you kind of get an idea here. About a 3.1 or 2, maybe a 3 inch blade. Uh, and then when you get to this handle, the way that it sort of gets thicker through here, kind of fits into your palm a little bit. If you can see how it gets right into there. Very mild jimping on the blade. Trying to get you guys into the sunlight a little bit not really effective on the on the back of the handle there so ergos aren't bad not a heavy duty work knife but not a bad size steel either so as far as sickness goes pretty slicey so, taking a look at the lockup pretty good lockup on it well, not a bad every day. Uh, check out the Kershaw Kiro, the Kershaw Oso oh Sweet, and the Harns Knight, and I'll show you how they all are related. Okay, guys. Thanks now. Bye.